Oh my god, that's gross. Oh, you know, I really, oh, I really hate coffee. This is really gross. However, it's a much better alternative to energy drinks. At least that's what my doctor says. So. Oh, that's, oh. Hey everyone, so as the title of the video um, explains, I found a new product um, that I never thought I would ever use for shooting video. Now photographers are gonna be well aware of this and a lot of, I've seen a lot of photographers use it, a lot of the weddings we shoot, I'm sure you've seen it too, but that's the harness. Now this particular harness is from Sean from Anders and Lee. An amazing photographer friend of mine by the name of Spencer Pablo introduced me to this company uh, last year at WPPI. And originally they had said, hey, check out our product, tell us what you think. I said, no thank you, I shoot video. I have no need for your silly harnesses. I am a video shooter and I'm either handheld or I'm on a tripod or a monopod, gimbal, slider, you name it, anything but a harness. It just doesn't seem like something I would need. Um, so the more I thought about it later, I thought, you know what? I might be able to use that. But um, then I soon found out that a lot of the connectors that are on the bottom of the plates weren't com very compatible at all with all of my 501 style, Manfrotto 501 style um, quick release plates for, for video. So again, I was like, you know what? Close, but that's all right. Well, Sean from Anderson Lee contacted me here all back and said, hey, we got this new product, you need to check it out. I think this may be exactly what you're wanting. So here it is. So the cool thing about this, um, well, let me back step for a second. He specializes, they specialize in creating a product for larger frames like myself and also ladies who have a different need, a different, different need for a a different different need for a harness that's shaped differently from a man's harness so it's more comfortable now they really talk about comfort on their website and at first i was like well of course you'd say that because that's what you do you you're making something people wear of course you want them to think it's comfortable and buy it uh, but i have to say after using it for several shoots it's very comfortable and uh, the one i particularly am using is made for a larger frame uh, man like myself so he sent one to me and the, the interesting thing about this this new one is, is the quick release plate and option on, on the straps here. It's just ah, so quick. It's just like, I'm ready to go. I can put this on my tripod, I'm good to go. Boom, right here. Boom, it's good to go. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. So what I like about this is it uses Arca Swiss plate. And I'm sure a lot of you photographers out there a lot of people are familiar with the Arca Swiss plate. However, the Arca Swiss plate is not great for me, at least, shooting video and trying to balance my camera uh, left and right, forward and backwards. It's not great for, for video. Great for photography, awesome. And it's quick, it's small plates, I love it, which makes it a great fit if you're a photographer for these uh, mirrorless bodies like the Sony a7S II here or, or my a9, uh, which I'm currently using to shoot this with. Um, so that, that's something you gotta think about. The Arca Swiss plate, it's cool, it's great, but it's not good for video because you put it on there and you don't have a whole lot of options uh, moving your camera forward and backwards. And I don't know, I just, I tried it, didn't like it. Uh, about a year or so ago and so I moved on. But this is cool because I found a new product um, it takes the Arca Swiss type plate, which is what his um, harness, well, one of the options you can have with the uh, Anderson Lee harness. And I found this little guy here, which is, Pull this off here. You know what? This is exactly what the strap is made for. Boom. I was just gonna hang down there for a minute. Um, found this little guy. I have a link to it down in the description, but it takes your Manfrotto style 501 plate and converts it into the Arca Swiss plate, which is super helpful. Now, not only is this helpful to make um, you know, a lot of your um, video heads, um, compliant with the, well not compliant, but compatible with the Arca Swiss plate. But also if you really want to fine tune that center of gravity, you can not only now balance your camera forward and backwards, but once your Arca plate gets on there, you have left to right. So it's kind of a no brainer, it's pretty cool. And, oh, it's real leather. Yes, it's real leather. Mm, you cannot, you cannot dislike that smell. Mm. This is manly, right? This is manly. I wish they could bottle that up. I would, I would wear it all the time. Amber, you're not like that. 
here, smell this. You smell it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was going to show you behind the scenes footage of me using it and, you know, pictures of me using it. That'd be great, right? Well, unfortunately, the last four jobs I've done have all been NDA, non-disclosure agreement. So I can't show you any of that. But where this came in super handy, where I really enjoyed using it, was, um, let's say I'm at the reception, right? And the reception, Amber, she's covering. Uh, we have a crisscross crossfire thing we do. And so we always swap targets in the middle of, of, of the toast. But that's for another day. But um, so a lot of times what I like to do and want to do is I want to have this tripod. I want to have my camera here, 7200, locked down on the bride and groom or locked down on the toast. And then while that's going on, I'm seeing people laughing over here. I'm seeing people maybe crying over here. And I want to turn the camera and get a good shot of, you know, the tears and laughter. That's great content. But unfortunately, I, I got to work on, I got to handle this. I don't have time or enough hands to shoot that and then shoot that and then come over here. So I said, well, I'll just bring a, I uh, started bringing an 80, 85 millimeter with uh, just holding it handheld while this is locked down. I'm trying to shoot stuff, but then I need to make an adjustment. And guess what? I have a camera in my hand. I'm like, oh, trying to use two or three cameras at the same time. It's kind of rough. So with this, I can set my 7200 with this strap. I can set my 7200 here aimed at the bride and groom or the toaster, whoever. And while this is doing a lot of the, the meat and potatoes, let's say, work for me, I have this 85 down here. And with this, I can work the room. So I can leave this here and actually step away from it, walk around and get some of those reaction shots with an 85. Now with the Sony, I have the clear image zoom so I can double that 85 millimeter length so I can really reach out there and shoot handheld. And then when I see maybe the toaster or somebody's moving around and I gotta make an adjustment, hands free, grab this and I can make my adjustment. My camera's right here. That was an invaluable uh, little help. Now I didn't, didn't wear it all day, but just for the toast, it, it, was, it was great uh, because I could, I could have this lockdown shot and then still look around, work the room and get those great reaction shots. And that's one instance where I think I'll be using this more and more. Um, hey, think about telling you what these little clippy things are for here on my shoulders. I don't know if they're for grenades or I don't know what they're for, but uh, I think I need to send Anders Lee an email and say, hey, are these just to be cool or studly or... I'm sure they have a purpose, right? They, they should have a purpose, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, it does a really nice job of dispersing the weight um, across my shoulders. Because sometimes when I shoot handheld, um, I'll shoot oh, I'll shoot like 50% of the day, uh, maybe a little more than the handheld, especially for the prep and things. I'm rocking like this, usually with my 24 to 70, but I'm using that to shoot this right now. But I'm usually walking on all day like this, and I never put my camera down because if I sit it down, I'm afraid to get knocked over or whatever. But this, hands-free, I can talk to the bride, I can grab the dress, put it up somewhere. Um, pull this back. I actually used it at a, a corporate shoot um, just a few a few days ago, about about a week ago now. And I was I was manning a 7200 and this, and it was a perfect opportunity to go handheld with this and also work on my 7200. Now, one thing I really like about this system is the quick release on the bottom. The quick release combined with the arc of plate, it's not a hook, it's not a clip. You can see right here, you just punch it in and it, it's quick and it's fast and it's secure. I've seen a lot of other ones and I haven't used a lot of the other ones because again, I shoot mostly video. All the photography I do is studio based or it's a big setup where I got a tripod and I got lights. It's not run and gun. But when I do decide to use one, the some of the other hooks I've seen before are maybe look slow and you know I've played around with them at WPPI and Photo Plus and things like that. And I mean, they're not slow per se, but they're slower than I would like them to be. But this system, you pull this up, has a little push button right here, you're, you're off that quick. And the same way to get it back on, if I have this up here and I'm locked down shot, pull this off and it's just a little punch, you just push this button here and punch it in and you're, you're good to go. And anything I can do to save time, um, I, I would never think of using this if I had to worry about any kind of uh, quick release thing that would take me longer than like, two seconds to do, because I got things to shoot. So yeah, head on over to Anders and Lee and check this strap out. You won't regret it. It's pretty slick. Um, I, I I like mine. This uh, this quick release, oh, it's just so, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. 
it's just it's so great i this is a, i have never used a quick release like this before for a harness and this is just this is this is the one so i've used a couple other ones but this one's in school but yeah check them out and if you get a chance tell them garrett from gear glasses and gadgets sent you until next time thanks so much see you there that's just so cool look at this boom oh it's hard that time boom boom Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Boom, boom, so fast. Boom, boom, so fast. I can just do this. It's almost like a little fidget spinner. I really, it's just like, I can play with it. It's... Okay. Check it out.